Okay, so about a month ago, uh, we were driving down the road and we passed this car lot that had a 05 black convertible and I was like, oh, I want to stop and we took it for a drive and I fell in love with it and it was too much, but I really wanted it and that is what prompted me to go ahead and put my car for sale. So a month later, here I am with no Mustang. I sold Mulder, as y'all know. And the guy just called Matt and told him a price that we could afford. So I'm gonna go back and do another test drive on this car. And I might be getting a car today. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited because like, we have done drive-bys on this car for the last month. Like, we'll be out, or we'll be home, and we'll be bored, and we'll be like, let's go drive by the lot, and we'll go, like, three towns over just to go do a drive-by on this car. Um, because I'm just, I love it. It's not perfect by any means, but sometimes cars just feel right. So, but I don't know. I'm going to go and do another test drive, and we'll see. So, join me. doing a little maintenance. Oh, you didn't pop that thing back up. We got a couple lights out, so we're gonna be changing the bulbs. I already changed this one. Where's this pop back up at? That's an easy panel to get into. Yeah. I'm, I'm proud of Ford for that one. This is not. Just because you have to re remove this to get back behind here. Now, one of the super things about this car is if you replace a headlight, the whole housing, not the bulb. If you replace the headlight housing, you have to take off the whole front bumper. Isn't that swell? Thanks, Ford. <laughs> okay, go and push the brake. Yeah, okay. We need to do the driver's side now. All okay, right. cool. Did it. I love that. We got some staining right here, probably from some bodies or something. I'm just kidding. This is a huge freaking trunk. To be a, a convertible with this. Next thing we're going to check is right down in here, we've got a very tiny uh, leak for radiator fluid and we think it might be an O-ring 
so that's an easy fix we just gotta take this crap off first to get to it uh, when I was driving it yesterday a little bit of radiator fluid came out it's nothing harmful it's not gonna cause the car to overheat or anything but it stinks because it hits the engine and then it burns off when the engine's hot and it causes it to like smoke and stink but everything else is good that's just that's just one of those things that happens it's a 13 year old car it's not new I can't expect it to be new everything looks good though You know how nice it is to have a car that I don't have to worry about not letting a freaking button touch the paint? I know it. Holy crap. That's such a relief. Did it? Mm -hmm. All the lights we are fixed. We need to get the little clips out of Body clips. Yeah. Those are cheap. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I love this car. This power steering fluid, right? Mm -hmm. I'm used to it being red. Is that on max? A little bit more. So I just got back from a little bit of a joy ride. It's a little disappointing this weekend because it's been pouring most of the weekend. We had a little window today where we could get some stuff done on the car, but we would do a little bit and it would start raining. We'd have to run inside and then it would stop and we'd run outside, but it's just raining steady now and it's going to be doing that for the next couple days. So, okay. So I'm really, okay. Let me tell you about why I love this car so much. I have been wanting a 2005 since before they came out and the reason why I say that is because back in the 90s I was with a friend and I was talking about Mustangs and I was talking about the Mustang styles and I said and this is before the whole uh, retro craze I think the only retro car up at that point was maybe the Prowler and that wasn't the Plymouth Prowler wasn't something that you know Unless you had like a tea bucket or something. It's not something that you really thought about. Um, but I was talking to my friend and I was like, Mustangs don't look like Mustangs anymore. And I said, what they need to do is they need to make it look like an old Mustang. But they need to like round off the edges and bring it up to date. Well, I got a piece of paper that I wish I still have because I would show you. I got a piece of paper and I got a pencil. I'm not great at drawing cars, but I drew what I thought that they should do with the Mustang and in 2005 they did it and my friend called me and was like that's your car that is the car that you drew you saw this before it happened and I was like I know well at that time I was locked into a car that I was driving so there was nothing I could do about getting a Mustang so I have lusted over that body style since it came out. I thought of it before it came out. I drew that freaking this. It actually made me a little bit angry and it made me heartbroken at the same time. Have you ever had that happen? Have you ever thought of an idea or, or done something and then, you know, it happens like months or years later or whatever and then you're like, uh, that was my idea and somebody else is banking off of it and it sucks really bad well that's what happened to me so to me i love the, i love the new mustangs don't get me wrong i would drive one in a heartbeat but i love the 2005 model 2005 to 2009 was the most retro and then to 2014 it stayed retro and then after by 15 you know they changed the body style and looked a little more european um but i love the retro body style so much it just really calls to me so I've been wanting one for a long time so I got really really lucky because 
I was able to get this car for what I paid for Mulder and so the car is paid off in full. I refuse to have a car payment. I do not want to be in debt to anybody. I mean, obviously, we have a mortgage, but I don't want to where if we hit hard times or whatever, I don't want somebody to be able to take my vehicle away. All of our cars are paid for because they're all older. So, and that's the way we prefer it. So, that is why, I know that was a little bit of a tangent, but that's why this car means so much to me and like it was like instant bond and even even when after I first saw it and I was like okay I've got to list Mulder I've got to sell my car um because I I really it's time for me to get one of these Mustangs we would drive back and forth and like look at that lot and I'd be like is my car there and we'd be sitting on the couch watching tv I'd be like let's go see if my car is still out there and it just felt like my car it felt like it was supposed to be so this is supposed to be my car and I'm extremely happy with it so anyway I'm rambling oh my god I've rambled for four minutes I'm so sorry um it's gonna make this a longer video dang it so anyway uh, that's it. I've got something I'm going to film tomorrow, so I should have, uh, by the time I edit it, it may be up Monday, might be Tuesday, I'm not sure. But um, give me a thumbs up. And hey, if you haven't noticed, in my banner on my homepage, in the little corner where you see like the Instagram uh, button, there's a little button that's got like a picture of a cup of coffee. And if you click that, it goes to kofi.com and that's my account and so if you like what I do and you want to throw me a bone you know you want to help me out buy me a cup of coffee then you can just make a small whole donation if you want to I mean Kofi doesn't lock people in like it does with patreon to where you have to pay every month or something if you feel like hey I'll you know I'll buy her a Starbucks you want to throw a throw a bone my way go ahead if you don't want to that's fine. It's all good. But I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all my subscribers. And I hope you have an awesome weekend. And I will see you later. Take care of each other. Goodbye.